Hello, beautiful. Messing with the wrong girl. But it feels so right. Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile character review, today featuring high tech Jackie. As usual guys, please note the date when this video has been recorded because a lot of things may have changed since then and if you're not familiar with the matrix I am using in order to evaluate characters, you can find it on the top right corner of the screen. So without any further ado, let us put high tech Jackie to the test. High Tech Jackie Guys was released on the 4th of August 2016 and her original price in the old store was only 335 souls. So let us check why. Her attack is 36,950 which is the 49th highest in the game and the 28th in the gold league. The health is 97,152 which is the 27th highest overall and the 10th highest among the gold characters. The toughness is 41,580, 21st highest overall and the 4th highest in the gold league. So after all, Jackie is a very tough girl. And the recovery guys is 38,556, the 27th highest overall and when it comes to gold characters, it ranks 10th. And the power generation is 120%, we are going to take into consideration her passive. So in the end, high tech Jackie is going to score 18.1 out of 28 possible points for her basic stats. The special one of Jackie guys is called Plasma Burst and here it is what you need to know about it. First, it can be completely blocked by the opponent, it has power drain as debuff, it can be cast from distance even at long range, the ability will still connect, the special attack is lethal, it consists of only one mini hit and it has the horizontal or vertical swipe as mini game. When it comes to damage, the minimal damage of the ability is only 12,193, which ranks 60th in the game and 37th among the gold characters. The maximum damage is still very low, it is only 24,387, the 61st highest in the game and the 39th among the gold characters, so really disappointing performance when it comes to damage. Anyways, let's repeat the properties of the ability once again. It can be completely blocked by the opponent, it has power drain as debuff, it can be cast from distance, it is little, it consists of only one mini hit and it has the horizontal or vertical swipe as mini game. So for her special one and despite the low damage, Jackie is going to get the impressive 9.6 out of 13 possible points. Special to of Jackie guys is called Gauntlet Charge and this is what you need to know about it. First, again, like uh, her special one, this ability can be completely blocked with the opponent, it has power generation as buff, it can be cast from distance, however you have to keep in mind that the first two mini attacks will miss uh, and thus you are going to miss about 30% of the total damage. In addition, the special attack is little, it consists of 4 mini hits and it has the multi-tap circle as mini game. When it comes to damage, the damage is really really low. The minimum one is 30,483 which is the 58th highest in the game and the 31st among the gold characters and the maximum damage is just 60,967 and that's extremely low guys considering that this ability is not even unblockable and that is why it ranks 64th in MK Mobile and 34th among all gold characters. Once again the special attack can be completely blocked by the opponent, it has power generation as buff it can be cast from distance, however the first two mini hits will miss, it is little, it consists of 4 mini attacks and it has the multi-tap circle as mini game. So for her special 2, high tech Jackie is going to get 10.5 out of 19 possible points. The X-ray of high tech Jackie guys is called chest cavity and by the way it looks exactly the same way like any other Jackie's X-ray in the game, no surprises here and because of that you should already know that first the ability has cripple as debuff and second it is long range it can be cast from distance so that's really great when it comes to damage the damage of the x-ray is 
only 73,161, which is the 76th highest overall and the 48th among the gold characters. You can imagine, guys, there's a lot of diamond and even gold cards who have higher damage on their special twos compared to the damage of Jackie's X-Ray. So long story short, you don't really have to use that ability because it almost deals the same damage as her special two. Actually, the damage of her X-Ray is slightly, slightly higher than the maximum damage of her special two. Anyways, once again, the X-Ray has Creeper as debuff, which is very good because it will be applied to the surviving members of the enemy team and it can be cast from distance. So for her X-Ray, Jack is going to get 3.5 out of 4 possible points and the total amount of points she gets for her special attacks adds up to 23.6 out of 36 possible. The basic attacks of high-tech Jackie guys are quite good actually. You see, she is a very fast puncher, definitely not the fastest character in the game, but at the same time she is definitely not slow, not at all. In addition, it is true that her chaining is not perfect. If the opponent is blocking, she doesn't push him back. But at the same time, it is very important to remember that she has very fast recovery speed. So in a way, she switches between punching and blocking quite fast. And at many occasions this is all you need guys. Sometimes you don't have to start another combo, all you have to do is block the incoming enemy's attack and this is once again pretty pretty decent. So high tech Jackie is going to get 7.5 out of 10 possible points for her basic attacks. The passive of Jackie guys is called Cyber Charge and here it is what it does, I quote All Spec Ops teammates have plus 20% increased power generation. And that's it. <laughs> now, how should we begin here? I believe I hinted this on multiple occasions guys, but I do regard the power generation as the most important stat, even slightly more important than the attack. However, for two reasons I am not impressed with Jackie's passive. The first reason is that the bonus is simply not good enough. Now if you ask me if I will take 20% power generation boost or 20% attack boost, it will really depend on the character, but let's say that in general cases I would prefer to go for the power generation, even though there are a lot of items that boost the power generation, but not that many that give bonus to your attack. And this is the thing, I can get 20% power generation boost quite easily using tons of different items, but I cannot do the same with my attack. Moreover, there are basic gold characters like Demolition Sonia for example who can boost your attack by 30% and high tech Jackie is a challenge gold. So 20% power generation boost is simply not good enough. I'm sorry, if at some point they add a second part to her passive, I would really consider using her in a spec ops team, but as of now, I would almost never pick her as a support. And the reason why I'm not going to do that is not only because the buff she provides is not good enough, there is something else, something big. And the big thing is that her passive actually does not work. It simply doesn't affect the power generation of her teammates. In order to prove this, please look closely at the following footage. For the first fight and the next two, I am using Classic Sonya as my main damage dealer and I will be freezing my opponent at the start of the match so that I can make sure that I will be able to land a full and clean basic attack combo followed by a combo ender. Then I am going to use the same team but I will remove Jackie and use any other character who doesn't boost your power generation whatsoever. And in the final fight, I am equipping my classic Sonya with Frost Bomb, which actually gives 20% power generation. Now if I freeze those frames and place them on different layers, I can compare them and you can clearly see guys that having Jackie in my team has zero effect on the power gain, while having Frost Bomb clearly has filled the power bar with roughly 20% compared to the other two cases. So if you like Jackie guys, 
Don't worry, I have already submitted this to Warner Brothers, so hopefully they will fix her passive because now she simply doesn't have one, which is a pity because she has been in the game for a hot minute and she deserves a better treatment. Anyways, she will receive 13.5 points for her passive. Once again, it is useful, it is helpful, but it is simply not enough for a challenge character. In addition, she is just a spec ops, so she gets 1 point for classes and 0 points for tagging attack. So, what is the final verdict of Jackie, guys? What is my personal opinion of her? Quite honestly, she is one of the outdated goats with crazy low attack. She has very good special attack buffs and debuffs, but again, crazy low damage on them. Her basic attacks are ok, but not great, and her passive is decent at best, but at the moment, it simply doesn't work. Nevertheless, before judging her, we really need to acknowledge the fact that she is really, really outdated and she badly needs some buffs. But will she get them eventually? Nobody knows. And in terms of my personal opinion of her, the truth is, I don't have one. I neither like her nor dislike her, I feel totally indifferent to her and to be honest I am not having fun playing with her and this is the reason why I never use her in any Spec Ops team. So I'm sorry but I won't give any subjective points here, she's just not interesting to me. And with my 0 subjective points she's going to score 63.8 and we will label her as a good character. In fact, she ranks 39th and to my total horror she surpassed Mournful Kitana, but still she couldn't outscore Triborg Cyrax. Anyways, High Tech Jackie, final verdict will be good character. Ok guys, we got to the final verdict part of the video. High Tech Jackie can be a decent opener if given the correct gear and in fact she can do pretty good job as a starter. So you can consider her for this position, it will be perfectly fine. And when it comes to her easiest and hardest opponents, I couldn't think of any character that she counters but I can easily suggest a list of cards that counter her, such as for example Assassin Jade, MK11 Jade, Punk Cassie, Classic Lucane, Dark Raiden and so on and so on. And when it comes to the items guys, you know, I admit it, I am not the greatest high tech Jackie player, but if I play her as an opener I would give her Devastator, Power Glove and Sindel Shrink. If she's not my opener and I intend to use her as the main damage dealer of my team, then I will give her Rathammer or Cory Blade as she has extremely low attack, Power Glove again and Vial of Infinite Blood. With this set you shouldn't have any issues clearing hard battles in Faction Wars. And finally guys, we got to the teams. Now obviously you want to team high tech Jackie with Shira Yu Takeda as often as possible because he provides her with extremely important buffs. So in a way, your options are always Takeda and somebody else. Or in the worst case, Jackie, Demolution, Sonya and somebody else. Unless of course you want to use her only as a support, which currently is pointless because her passive simply doesn't work. I am sorry that I didn't come up with some amazing teams. Truth is, there isn't any amazing team with Jackie, if you can think of one, you're welcome to share it with me down below in the comment section. Ok guys, high tech Jackie, what do you think of her, do you like her, do you dislike her, please let me know in the comments. Once again she scored 63.8 and we labeled her as a good character. As usual guys, if you wanna see more reviews you can find the playlist on the top right corner of the screen and if you want to know which is the next on demand review coming in next week, you can find the list in the description of this video. See you next time guys, take care. Enjoying yourself so far? Perfect!